describe three methods of increasing the magnitude, which is a fancy name for the size, of an induced EMF. Now remember that when you make a conductor pass through a magnetic field, and if the conductor is moving at right angles to the magnetic field, which is going from north to south, and cutting through those lines of flux, of magnetic flux, then that's when you induce an electromotive force, an EMF. An EMF is uh, electromotive force. It's the force which makes a charge go round a, a circuit. Another name for it is potential difference. Or voltage all mean the same type of thing. So how can we increase this induced voltage when we make a conductor cut through these lines of flux? Well, Michael Faraday, who discovered this effect, um, found that if the conductor cuts through the lines of magnetic flux faster, then a bigger EMF is induced. So the first thing that we can say to make the EMF larger is to move the conductor faster through the magnetic field. And that means that lines of magnetic flux are cut more quickly. The, the faster that you cut those lines with the conductor, as long as you're at 90 degrees to the lines, then the more EMF you will induce. So the second thing is, how could we cut more lines per second. Well, we can move it faster, okay, but we could also use a stronger magnet, a stronger magnetic field. Now, what that does is to increase the number of magnetic field lines, makes them closer together, more dense, more densely packed. And of course, if you move the conductor through that, then you're going to cut much more per second. So using a stronger magnetic field increases the, the rate at which the magnetic flux lines are cut. Again, same thing. And number three, what we could do is we could loop this wire around on itself a couple of times, or several times, to make a coil. So we could use a coil, which would be multiple loops of the circuit. So uh, what do I mean by that? Well, we could have something looking perhaps a bit like, like this. Let's see. We could uh, loop this around on itself again and again and then go back to so we wouldn't have a connection there we've just looped that section of the wire around on itself a few times and of course we've got in this case three wires three conductors cutting through the lines of flux, so we would increase the rate of cutting by three times. So there are three ways of increasing the induced EMF when a conductor is cutting through the lines of magnetic flux.